What's up guys, it's Chris, aka Twingstan, and you already know, I stan all the gays, so I'm actually in the process of getting a new intro, so there's not going to be any the normal intro that I usually have on this video, and today's video, as I am in Orlando, Florida for Playlist, staying with a bunch of straight guys, they're all also TikTokers, I thought it would be fun to do 10 things that straight guys do that annoy gay guys. So I have a little list. I'm basically just gonna go say them. Number one, asking us who's the guy and who's the girl in the relationship. None of us. That's why we're gay, for a reason. Number two, calling things gay. For example, when something doesn't go their way and they are like annoyed about it and they say, oh, that's so gay. I'm sorry, what? Can you not think of a better word? Also, obviously when they say fag, I think fag should only be said by the gays. That's just my opinion. So, anyways. Number three, when they compare how hard it is for them to date to how hard it is for straight guys. I can tell you with 100% certainty, what? it is 10 times harder for a gay guy to date than for a straight guy. And that's just on period. Um, and this is David, by the way. Okay. Number four, they can talk about girls all they want. So they'll talk about how they were clapping this girl's cheeks and like how they want to kiss these girls and how they want to get with all of them. But then when a gay guy starts talking about getting with a guy or how they want to clap a guy's cheeks, they're all like, no, no, bro. Like, but we listen to them, but they just won't listen to anything we have to say. And I don't know why I'm shirtless for this also. <laughs> Anyways, number five, and yes, I'm in a bathtub. If you be nice to them for like five seconds, they automatically think that you have a crush on them or that you like them or something like that. Like, no, we're just being nice. We just want to be friends. Most of the time, you could be the lucky time where we actually do like them. Number six, when they walk around with their shirt off on purpose because they know you're gay and they want you to look at their body, but then when you look, they say, take it down, you know I'm straight, like. This is Carl, by the way. Hello, guys. Okay, there we go, the zoom wasn't working. Um, he's French, Canadian, super chill. He has some songs out on YouTube, they're really dope, you guys should go listen. Thank you so much. And Carl Jason. Well, my artist yes. is Carl Jason. This is the pool area. It's pretty dope. I'm also going to be making a like house tour and vlog of Orlando and everything, but that's probably going to be next week or the week after. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys subscribe. And yeah, I'm just breaking out. So <laughs> love that. Number seven, when they don't even call you by your name, like for me, they all call me Twink or Twinky. I mean, I'm okay with it, but a little bit of a, I know they do it not in a mean way, so that's why I don't care. Number eight, I literally leave for 10 minutes to go walk around the neighborhood and they all assume that I was going to a grinder hookup. Like, come on, sis. I ain't up here on grinder. Number nine, they get mad when you ask them to take a shower with them. Like I'm only trying to save the environment and save water. I'm not sure why that would get them so mad, but yeah. <laughs> and finally, number 10 is they always assume that you have a lot of girlfriends that you can hook them up with. Oh my God, or they know one other gay person and they're like, oh my God, do you know this other gay person? You guys should date. There we go, that was like two for number 10, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you guys for watching my music video. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna work on this new intro as soon as I probably get back home from Orlando. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out.